And I'm back again! Hello everyone, my name is Zane, and I'm your host for this journey through LGBTQ plus music history. Since we left off in the 1980s last episode, today we will move to the, on to the 1990s. So without further ado, let's continue on with the gayest history podcast you'll ever listen to, and start geeking out. Our story today begins with a country band that formed in the 1970s, but who didn't receive recognition until the 1990s. This band is called Lavender Country and is still popular today. The lead singer, Patrick Haggerty, the only original member of the band still touring, was born in 1944 in Port Angeles, Washington. Patrick Haggerty has been openly gay since 1966, when he was thrown out of the Peace Corps for being gay. What a bummer. He's been with his partner for 31 years, and they are often referred to as the grandparents of LGBTQ plus country music. Their presence and openness, even though Lavender Country only gained popularity 20 years after releasing their first album, paved a path for other openly LGBTQ plus country and folk musicians. One of these LGBTQ plus bands that rose to popularity in the 90s was the Indigo Girls. Both members of the band, Emily Salyers and Amy Ray, are lesbians and have been open about their sexualities throughout their careers. They began performing together as the Indigo Girls in college, though they had performed previously together in high school. Their openness with their sexualities did nothing to hinder their success. In fact, their willingness to be open about their sexualities in their music encouraged a new form of music to arise, the LGBTQ plus pop anthem. Join me next episode to find out about the rise of openly LGBTQ plus musicians and the anthems of acceptance they write, as well as the rise of openly LGBTQ plus internet sensations. <laughs>